You ain't bout it, you ain't bout it, you ain't kick on the mic. You ain't bout it, you ain't bout it, you ain't kick on the mic. You can go and subscribe, cause I be on it right. You ain't bout it, you ain't bout it, you ain't kick on the mic. Tyler Scott admits that Shane Waldron is a major upgrade for the Chicago Bears offense. Hey, what's going on, Bears fans? Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Keek on the Mic, the podcast all about the Chicago Bears. As always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Bears fans, make sure you also do me a huge favor by also hitting the like button on today's episode of Keek on the Mic. So Bears fans, I wanted to come on here really quick and have a really interesting discussion on what Tyler Scott had to say in his after training camp practice press conference with the Chicago Bears media. And one of the biggest moves of the offseason, and we're not talking about players here, we're talking about adding to the coaching staff. One of the biggest moves for Ryan Poles and Matt Eberflus this offseason was replacing Luke Getze as the offensive coordinator for the Chicago Bears. While Justin Fields did have his issues, uh, both Ryan Poles and Matt Eberflus knew that something wasn't really clicking with Luke Getze. He crafted a really good rushing attack over the couple years as OC with the Chicago Bears, but the passing game never really got going in Chicago. I mean, after meeting with nine different off of the coordinator candidates, the Chicago Bears honed in on former Seattle Seahawks OC Shane Waldron. And so far, so good. I felt like it was outstanding hire for the Chicago Bears. I do feel like he is a major upgrade over Luke Getze. But Tyler Scott's remarks um, on Shane Waldron and how he's a major upgrade for the Chicago Bears offense really caught my attention. Check this out, Bears fans. I like how there's there's different adjustments. Um, there's different adjustments and a little bit more freedom as far as just you know what we can do um, as far as looks. Um, because every... Defense is not going to play the same. Every look isn't going to be the same on every play. You know, you might have things drawn up a certain way, um, but I feel like Shane, um, he talks about uh, the game being a game of chaos and how, like, you, you draw things up a certain way and you want them to look a certain way, but that's not, you know, how football is every time. You know, there's going to be looks that you may not get. Uh, there may be just, there's imperfections into the game. And so I feel like he understands that. And so some things are built in to kind of compensate for those imperfections and just kind of allow you to play ball. Is it, are you talking like site adjustments and, and, and what, what kind of modifications are you? Yeah, I mean, I think side adjustments. I think also just the way you run your routes as well. Um, you know, just understand like, all right, you know, if a guy's, if we're playing, um, you know, cover two on a, you know, on a, on a, a dig route, you know, you may have to temple that in there instead of just speed turning because you're not know, block off the window. So you have some freedom there to kind of tipple it down, slow it down. Um, and that just helps with the timing overall. So just, just little things like that. Bears fans, first and foremost, it's really not, all that surprising that Tyler Scott had these things to say about Shane Waldron and how he feels like he is a major upgrade for the Chicago Bears offense. And first and foremost, we all know that Luke Getze was a terrible OC. Once again, um, was really good at crafting a rushing attack. Luke Getze was never able to adjust um, to NFL defenses. Uh, my dad and I always joke while watching Bears games last season that the first 15 plays that were scripted were Luke Getze's best plays. After those first 15 plays, the Chicago Bears offense was absolutely horrible, especially in the passing attack. And once again, Bears fans, it's not surprising that Tyler Scott had all these nice things to say about Shane Waldron and how he's a major upgrade for the Chicago Bears offense. When you're looking at Tyler Scott, he is having one of the best starts of anybody for the Chicago Bears this training camp. He is getting open more frequently and making some huge catches. You can already see the chemistry and connection between him and Caleb Williams. And the things that stood out when asked about the biggest difference between Luke Getchy and Shane Waldron is when he said the flexibility of the Chicago Bears offense or the flexibility that the wide receivers have within the Shane Waldron offense. Waldron gives the receivers more freedom to make adjustments with their routes based on the coverages they are seeing. And the reason why this is so big, Bears fans, is when you have a guy, for example, like Keenan Allen, that can change his route mid-route. Tyreek Stevenson and Jalen Johnson have already said that when you are covering Keenan Allen, he will start out in one route, but you can tell that he changes his route mid-route. That is the flexibility of what Shane Waldron allows these guys to do within his offense. This makes it far easier for the Chicago Bears receivers uh, to find open space. And when you look back at the film of Shane Waldron's time in Seattle, that's what DK Metcalf, that's what Tyler Lockett also had the freedom to do, which is why they were having these big seasons back to back to back years 
under OC Shane Waldron. So Tyler Scott is basically just realizing what Shane Waldron can do for him and the other receivers on the Chicago Bears offense. Looking back once again at Shane Waldron's time in Seattle, I really like what I saw on tape and what he was able to do with not only DK Metcalf, uh, and Tyler Lockett, but the other offensive weapons he had in Seattle as well. His first year there, they ranked 23rd in passing. I know that may seem low Bears fans until you realize that that year, Shane Waldron and the Seattle Seahawks offense actually threw the ball the second fewest number of times that season. The next year with Geno Smith, which was, which was Geno Smith's huge season for the Seattle Seahawks, they finished 11th in passing. Then last season, his final season with the Seattle Seahawks, with injuries along the offensive line, they still finish 14th in passing. So you absolutely love um, what you actually see on tape and what you see in the numbers from Shane Waldron with the Seattle Seahawks. Many will credit the success of Shane Waldron due to the fact that he had two stud wide receivers once again. DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett are two of the better receivers in the National Football League. But once again, if you pop on the tape on the screen, Waldron consistently found ways to get these two guys open and find open space. And this really explains why Tyler Scott is so excited and optimistic about what this could mean for him and the success of for him within the Chicago Bears offense and the other receivers on this offense as well. The great thing about this Bears fan is that Tyler Scott can already see in these early practices during Chicago Bears training camp what Shane Waldron is doing and how he is going to help guys really be successful this year. The one thing I really like about Shane Waldron's offense is that Waldron is about increased freedom that puts greater trust in his players to find weak spots in a defense. Shane Waldron is all about adjustments. He's all about trusting his players. And I think that's why guys like to play for him. So here, here's my thing. If the offensive line can not only stay healthy, but actually hold up, I am expecting huge seasons, not only from Keenan Allen and DJ Moore, but also guys like Tyler Scott, Cole Komet, and Gerald Everett as well. Even a guy like DeAndre Swift should have a really good season under offensive coordinator Shane Waldron. Bears fans, once again, Shane Waldron was the right hire for the Chicago Bears. The only thing that really sucks about the situation, Bears fans, is that Shane Waldron has a, a really good year for the Chicago Bears offense. And let's say Keenan Allen, DJ Moore, Tyler Scott, let's say they all explode this season. That is not going to be good because that means Shane Waldron would then possibly leave for a head coaching gig. Um, obviously, I want the offense to do good. I want Shane Waldron to do good as well, because that means the Bears will be doing good. But we do have to take in fact that if the offense does really, really well this season, we possibly would lose uh, Shane Waldron to a head coaching job. But this is all, all great to hear. It really sounds that like the players are really loving what Shane Waldron is offering as an offensive coordinator. It seems like people are catching on to his offense as well. Um, so I'm really excited to see um, the finished results and, and hopefully we can see a better passing attack than what we saw um, the last couple of years. Uh, but overall, I just wanted to come on here really quick and share this bit of information with you guys. But overall, Bears fans, before I let you guys go, let me ask you guys this. Do you guys think that Shane Waldron is a major upgrade for the Chicago Bears offense? Let me know down below what you're thinking in the comment section. But as always, make sure you continue to hit that subscribe button and the notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms. And make sure you share this episode of Kick on the Mic with every single Bears fan that you know. Better than that, be back for all new Bears podcasts right here on Keek on the Mic. Thanks, guys. And as always, bear down. Been listening to Keek on the Mic, a podcast all about the Chicago Bears. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Thanks, guys. And bear down. Hey.